Hello all, welcome to VZD Academy. This is Anil Kumar, faculty for Digital Electronics. Before going to teach Digital Electronics for GATE, IES and PSUs, I would like to give the syllabus of 5 units. Let us see the syllabus. The subject name, as I said, Digital Electronics. Friends, Digital Electronics contains basically five units. Let me list it out here. First unit is basics of basics of digital. And second unit we can say that combinational circuits. Combinational circuits. And third unit is sequential circuits. Sequential circuits. Here the fourth unit I can say let me divide this fourth unit is two parts for better understanding. First part is ADC and <coughs> DAC. Analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter. Second part of fourth unit is logic families. Logic families. And fifth unit is here fifth unit also we will learn as a two parts part one is more and more and mille machines and second part is basics of memories friends this is five units of digital electronics we will start with basics of digital and we will end up this uh, digital electronic subject with the basics of memories let me explain unit wise point wise syllabus here first unit <coughs> unit one unit one topic wise let me explain here unit one is basics of digital basics of digital in basics of digital what points we are going to cover is as a first part we are going to cover number system number system and as a second part we can cover conversions conversions of number system number system and third part is codes codes and fourth part we can say conversions of codes conversions of codes in conversions of codes we are going to learn about how to convert XR code to BCD code and BCD code to binary code we will learn all the things in this codes and conversion of codes <coughs> Fourth point, we are going to learn about arithmetic operations. Arithmetic operations. And as a fifth point, our fifth concept, we will learn about data representation. This data representation is a two parts. In this data representation, there is magnitude data representation. We can say sign magnitude representation. Another concept is called complement representation we know very well one's complement and two's complement we are going to learn about it and sixth point very very important topic we can say boolean algebra this is what boolean algebra and as a seventh point we are going to learn about logic gates very very important topic logic gates and eighth point K map and finally K map you can also call it as Carnap map up to up to five variable five variable we will learn about K map and as a last point tabulation method tabulation method these are the nine concepts in unit one friends we are going to learn about each and every topic for gate IES and PSUs mostly we can expect a question from this second point and also 
logic gates we can expect a mark from k map and even tabulation method we are going to learn about it and we are going to solve all the problems and the previous problems everything we are going to learn in this particular first unit <coughs> And second unit is combinational circuit. Unit two is combinational combinational circuits. In combinational circuit, the first part is we can say half adder. <coughs> I can write it as HA half adder. And also we will learn about it. Uh, we will learn about full adder. Full ladder, and third part of this first point is parallel ladder. Parallel ladder, and the fourth one is carry look ahead ladder. These are the four types of ladders we are going to learn, sir. And then the second point is off subtractor. and then full subtractor after learning about half adder and full adder we are going to learn about subtractors also and after completion of these two topics immediately we will learn about encoder encoder and also we will learn about decoder after completion of it fourth one is multiplexer multiplexer and demultiplexer d max we can say and the fifth one is comparator comparator up to 2 bit 2 bit comparator we will learn about it <coughs> sir these are the concepts of second unit combinational circuit the moment when we said about combinational it is not having any clock and it is not it, this circuit is not having any kind of memory and this circuit is not having any kind of feedback we are going to deal all the things in combinational circuits after completion of these combinational circuits and analysis we will learn few drawbacks in these circuits based upon those drawbacks to overcome all those we are moving forward to unit number 3 that is called unit 3 is called sequential circuits sequential circuits in sequential circuits first part we will learn about latch <coughs> sir honestly speaking this latch is a combinational circuit but to understand and to understand the drawbacks of latch then only we will understand the importance of sequential circuits after completion of learning latch and its drawbacks we are going to learn about there are three concepts called first one is flip flop flip flop we can say on and off we can tell and then third concept is called <coughs> counters counters and fourth one is resistors resistors these are the three topics we are going to learn in unit number 3 in flip flop topic there are basically we have four types of flip flops first one is sr flip flop we can say set to reset flip flop and second one is a jk flip flop and third one is t flip flop d flip flop let me write it here flip flops flip flops first one sr second one is jk and third one is t flip flop fourth one is data flip flop set to reset flip flop jk flip flop toggling flip flop data flip flop in flip flop concept we are going to learn about what is the circuit diagram truth table what is the excitation table and how to convert between a conversion between sr to jk jk to t t to d and d to t t to jk jk to sr all these conversion we are going to learn about and after completion of flip flops we will learn about <coughs> counters concept in counters there are two types of counters basically one is synchronous counter and another one is Uh, asynchronous counter we will learn about it after completion of counters concept and resistors also we will learn there are four types of resistors serial to parallel parallel to serial and serial to serial parallel to parallel 
how data is transferring from one flip flop to another flip flop you can say register is a basically storage element you can say one bit storage element when we combine two three registers as a circuit it will form a register and the data will be forward from uh, serial to parallel and parallel to serial and this is what about unit number three let me come to unit number four here unit number four is two types already i told you the first topic is i told you adc adc and then dac here adc means analog to analog to analog to digital and there are four types of four types of adcs and there are another one is dac digital to digital to analog these are two types of circuits are there we are going to learn about it ladder type and uh, flash type and uh, sar type and successive approximation type all the things we are going to learn in adc and dac concept next concept i told you uh, second part of fourth unit is logic families sir logic family sir very important and to understand logic from is its operation is also very easy there are basically uh, seven types of logic families first one is rtl second one is dtl and third one is <coughs> htl fourth one is dc dc tl and fifth one is i square l and sixth one is n mos and seventh one p mos and then eighth one c mos we can say rtl means res resistor transistor logic the Di diode transistor logic and then direct coupled transistor logic and then n mos p mos c mos we know about it we are going to learn and we will compare one table and the very uh, small it, smallest number of inputs and high output a number of fan in and number of fan out we are going to learn all these concepts in logic families and the fifth unit <coughs> unit number five fifth unit i told you unit number uh, fifth five contains basically two topics first topic is more and more more and we can say mill emissions in more and mill emissions we are going to learn about algorithm the working of any digital circuit how how it works and how to uh, program how to design an algorithm we are going to learn and as a second part of fifth unit basics of memories basics of memories in basics of memories we know very well about uh, ram what is ram and what is rom and what is eram eram electrically erasable ram and ele electrically programmable uh, erasable ram all these things we are going to learn <coughs> sir digital electronics contains these are the topics five units we are going to learn each and every topic in digital electronics class by the end of the class we will we, we will come to know how to solve gate problems is problems and previous gate problems previous is problems and different psu problems so let us try to understand the subject so that we will crack any gate is psus thanks for watching please do subscribe